Intro was too selfish. Do a live stream and 1v1 your viewers. All right, boys, if you're an OG of mine, actually, you don't need to be too OG, but I used to stream like a couple times a week, every single freaking week, and 1v1 people all the time, okay? We actually did tournaments with viewers. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people missed it. Uh, but I kind of just stopped because a lot of things were happening within my life, okay? I was moving, school was starting, the pandemic, like all just stuff, okay? So I took a break from streaming, but it's kind of hard to get back into, but... David, I think that's his name, is giving me some freaking hope right now, boys, and some motivation to get back into it. So I guess y'all are down because this was a top comment. So we're going to be doing this, okay? And I'm going to schedule this for Saturday, October 24th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? But here's the catch. It's not going to be on YouTube. It's going to be on Twitch, okay? I do have a Twitch. I'm going to link it. It's going to be the first link in the description below my name is boltrix7 on twitch go make sure to follow me turn on notifications so you are notified when i go live on saturday i'll keep y'all updated with that okay i'm gonna say it once again like in a community post and whatnot but yeah mark your calendars be there and hopefully we get to play against each other all right so without further ado let's get in the video Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Botrix here, back with yet another banger. We got some up hit free power-ups, all right? So let's hop right in today's video. Okay, so I am super excited for this intro challenge, okay? I have not streamed in so, so long. And if you didn't see my last stream on Twitch, it was an absolute disaster. So that's why I was like, dude, maybe I should take an even longer break from streaming because like, I don't know, man. I just like messed up the settings or something. It was lagging all over the place and it's not my PC, okay? Cause I got a brand new one. I was just super frustrated, but I think this time around, it's going to be a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable. And two, I have like a brand new audience, I feel like. So a lot of you have not gotten to experience the stream. So I am excited, uh, but it's taken some time to find this game. What the heck? Oh, okay. Speaking of that, we finally found a game. If y'all need to the channel, do not forget to click that subscribe button and also why to drop a like on today's video um and if you're confused on what just happened at the beginning portion of this video pretty much i do an intro challenge once a week so you have to leave a comment down below in the comment section saying intro was two and then a word and if you get the top light comment you will be featured in a video and i will also do that challenge okay i prefer doing challenges that like i have to do in real life that are outside the game. Like I've done challenges like running on a treadmill while playing BTD or getting an ice bath while playing BTD. Like those challenges were a lot of fun, crazy. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I read it up. Okay, whew. Ninja EJ Rules is our opponent. I didn't, I don't even know this guy's rankings or anything. So we're gonna see how this goes. Let's freaking get it. <laughs> this strategy is not too good. Also, I would never recommend going eco on it. Uh, but we'll see if we can win okay so let's just start off with this dart here we're gonna go for the trip dart surprised to see that he started off with a zero zero dart at first i wouldn't really recommend that either um but let's get to immediately equaling with these reds okay i'm kind of happy though that we have the ice and the glue and i might just use my fourth because i'm gonna probably have some weak camera detection with those two tires so yeah uh, but of course we can get camera detection with our dart he is sending us a little bit of eco as well which uh, I don't know. Maybe he just like does that every single game. He's going to be sending us even more. What? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, but we're going to be using our super eco boost at the start of round five. We also have alongside with it the damage boost on the glue storm. This is always my go to power combination. Probably the best power combination in the game uh, because sometimes you just don't know what your opponent's power combination is and it's the safest bet to go uh, with something like this. Okay. But, anyways, let's get to send these blues here. And I was about to say, he's probably going to be sending me some blues. So I'm going to go for another trip dart very quickly. And let's go for that. He's going to be sending me some space pinks behind it too. Uh, that's okay though. He just wanted to force some upgrades most likely. Okay, well done. Well done indeed. Although he could have the salted wounds. I just, I don't even know how experienced this guy is. I didn't even look at his wins or amount of medallions. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So <laughs> we're going in this freaking blindfolded, man. Um, but sending these blues still. Okay. Oh, it's round five. I forgot to use the Super Eco boost. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. We're going to be using it at round six then. Whenever I forget, I usually just wait until the next round. So I'm going to focus on that. Let's use it now. Oh, okay. I misclicked. I misclicked again. There we finally go. Oh my. Okay. But we're nearly at 500 Eco. So that is a good sign. He only has one plantation as well too. Okay. So depending on what his power combination is, uh, we might be able to win during the mid game rounds. I don't know boys because we're not gonna be able to go too late with a strategy like this By the way, he has a super good boost. Okay, so he probably also has a damage boost and the glue storm So that doesn't seem too likely either. Yikes. 
okay but uh he just went for another one zero didn't send me any greens or anything like that interesting on the eagle just a little bit harder here and we'll stop right there right at 598 we're also going to be using a super eco boost here in a sec once this round ends let's do that and we got to watch out for yellows okay yep, i kind of expected those so we're just going to go for a spike ball here might have to go for a third trip dart as well actually we can afford to tank those lives uh, so i guess we'll just tank them it's really not a big deal we hardly leaked anyways so yeah let's get it um i hate using uh the juggernaut as our main source of lead detection for a map like this by the way he's also going to be sending these so that's not cool that's not very cool but it's okay let's go for a third trip dart then and we're going to be using our last super eco boost here in a sec as well 678 eco holy crap let's use that let's send him a lead his way he is also though going with the juggernaut i guess i'll just go with it all right I'll just do it, boys. Gotta watch out for a round 11 rush, by the way. Um, I was about to say maybe I should send him one, but probs not. Although we could just glue storm. We don't know what the rest of his powers are. We really don't. Okay, he's sending me a little bit of a rush, it looks like. Oh my gosh, dude. I freaking... Is this set the last? Why is this set the last? Let's set the first. Okay. But I think we should be chilling with all of that. We will indeed. Let's get it. And I, I don't know, boys. I think I, like, just mixed eco here for a sec. I kind of don't want to show him that I'm going to be rushing him, but I think I'm going to be rushing him on like round 15 because he's probably going to try to go for like a BIA or something along the lines of that. Um, so yeah, we'll just space deco, okay? And save up our money just in case because you never know. You never freaking know. I'm going to go for some 0 0 trip darts too, or just 0 0 darts, I mean, sorry. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, it looks like he is trying to go for the BIA. And I think the second he does. I'm going to try to get a boost out of him, okay? He's actually leaking to the space deco that we're sending him right now. Oh my gosh, yeah. He's definitely going to be going for that. So let's do that. And we're going to send him a camo ceramic within this. He won't be liking that. Just going to be a lot happening on his screen. He has very weak camo detection as well. And he's going to leak some lives here, okay? There's the glue storm. We will take that any day of the week. We're also going to be sending him these regen lets here. Let's see if we can get a boost out of him. Something along the lines of that. There's just a lot going on in the screen, okay? There's a lot going on. Oh my gosh. There's a damage boost. We'll take it, boys. Freaking take it. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. It still looked really bad, but he was able to ultimately defend. Well done. It's going to give us a well done as well. There's no way this works, by the way, boys. There's no freaking way, man. Because our strategy is horrible late game. At least we got a boost out of him, but like, dang. There's no way we win this. There's actually no way. We're going to send him a mob immediately, of course. And uh, he could do the same exact thing at us. Okay, so I'm going to wait. Prepare for that. We're going to have to upgrade to some trip darts. Unfortunately, can't afford uh, the fan club just yet. All right, but let's see if he tries to defend. Yeah, he's going to try to defend without fan clubbing. I'm going to make sure to send these constantly. I'm going to have to upgrade to a bunch of trip darts here. And we're just going to glue storm. Oh, he's going to... Oh, okay, let's glue storm that. Oh my gosh, looked like he leaked lives on our screen. Oh my gosh, he leaked down to 40. No freaking away, boys. So we've got to come at him with a rerush. The AI leads are about to come, but his boost is going to last, last quite a while. So, yikes. Oh, actually, no, it just ended. Let's go. He's probably going to be able to fan club this, though. Most likely. No, there's no, there's no way. There's no way you're trying to defend without fan clubbing. Oh my gosh, he's like nearly dead. Oh my gosh, he's going to... Please don't let that mob be glue stormed. Oh, it is? He still might be dead. Oh, he's in a damage boost. Will it be enough? <laughs> Let's go, boys. There's no way. Do I ever recommend doing this? Absolutely not. We just randomized and beat this guy. And we were also super aggressive when going eco. And this guy's a top 100 player. <laughs> he's 33rd on the global leaderboards and 64th on the prestige. That is just great, all right? So GG's only. I will catch y'all on the next one. All right, boys. So we are back with the next one. Cactus Catcher is the name. Dude, that last game was actually crazier, right? <laughs> he was so greedy right there. Like, he could have just easily fan clubbed and avoided the entire problem, okay? And honestly, too, he probably didn't even need to collect from his BIA to, to actually afford that fan club. He could have just sold, like, a bunch of trip darts right there, and he probably would have been fine. Um, but we got the dub, okay? So let's go. Uh, this guy... Skip the first map. I think it was indoor pools, so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he's ranked 77th on the Global Leader Boys, so he's been grinding a lot, but he's not ranked too high on the Prestige. Maybe higher than me, though, because I do be bad, though, and I'm not even ranked, so yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, Hot Tub is gonna be 
the map. Okay, so I'm thinking Energy Spike Factory Warm Boys, okay? Because low key it goes nuts. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely down, okay? Um he's probably gonna be thinking too that I'm gonna be going with Ninja NG, but that is not the case, boys. Spike Factory is much better, okay? Trust. Anyways, let's freaking get it, boys. Goodbyes and we shall indeed win okay he's gonna be farming too good signs for sure we're gonna be starting off with our first farm at 18 seconds okay and also upgrading to the more bananas at 24 actually should we i don't know because he just went for that dart lane okay because um that means he's going to be ending the round just a little bit sooner than anticipated because he popped the balloons immediately so actually we'll just tank him boys it's fine it's a okay okay he's gonna be sending me though some reds uh, which is probably what I would have done as well. So well done. Let's go for this. Okay, we're probably going to need to go for a 9 inch nails. Most definitely. Okay, so I'm going to be going for that in a sec. Um, he's going to be going for a super eco boost. Already on round three? For real? Okay, so was this worth, boys? I don't know because I, I'm leaking quite a bit. We're going to have to also go for a center gun here. I mean, we needed to anyways for the space pinks on round four. So yeah, but he's just not stopping with these. Okay, showing absolutely no mercy. That's okay. Okay, as, as long as we catch up here in a sec, we should be fine. He's not, for some reason, sending me any space pinks, so I guess I'll take it. Finally caught back up with the balloons, and uh, here he comes, actually. Okay, so I'm going to set this to last, by the way. Our engineer on last should be able to handle these um, for long enough until we actually go for this plantation. So I'm going to go for this plantation first, and then we'll upgrade to just a zero zero. Actually, he stopped. Okay. Okay, we'll take that too. I forgot to use the Super Eagle Boost. I keep on forgetting. I keep on forgetting, boys. That's okay, though. Just like the last game, we're going to wait until the next round. So round six. And we're about to be able to use it. So let's get it. And I'm trying to go for another farm too. Okay, so let's do that. He just went for a Super Eagle Boost too. Okay, so that's why he's like kind of with us in the farms. Not really with us, but like he's not too far behind because he used those Super Eagle Boost. Okay, so yeah. Um, I don't know if he actually upgraded. I think he did. He's just popping the balloons immediately, and also, too, there's screen lag with the dart lane specifically, so pretty sure he upgraded to the power for darts, so I guess we'll just let this slide, and he's gonna go for a boomer, okay, so our strategy, oh, dude, our strategy's way freaking better, boys, way better, not really, um, but I think we're chilling, okay, uh, we're gonna be going for another super eco boost, not any more farms, though, okay, because uh, we have to start preparing for a potential round eight rush, and also saving up money for our balloon trap okay but there we go with our next super eco boost here he comes at us with some space region whites hate to see it oh i think we should be fine with that might leak a few lives oh we're down to 43 yikes that's okay though we're chilling boys we're freaking chilling we're gonna go for our last super eco boost on round 10 by the way let's start preparing with this balloon trap and we're gonna get quite a bit of money when we sell these engineers okay so we should have enough should have enough Let's send this lead though. Actually, no, he already has lead detection. Let's use that then. Let's sell these. Let's go for the balloon trap. Amazing. Wonderful. And uh, then we're going to go for also a farm. Although we should probably have a 00, zero spike factory in the back of the map just in case if he wants to send us around 11 rush. So yeah, I'm going to go for one right now just to have, just to show him we ain't messing around. And also, too, our camera detection is going to be kind of weak. So I'm just going to go for at least a 2 1. Okay, so we got that on the map. Let's send him a camel lead his way so he's to upgrade to that. And I'm going to go for a plantation once again because it looks like he's not going to be sending us a camel rush because all we have to do, if it's like a huge camel rush, is just glue storm. <gasps> he's the quick shots. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go for the 2 2 then, just in case. Oh my gosh. I think we're fine, right? I think we're fine. I think our balloon trap's going to collect most of that. Holy crap, he's the team tower stun. He's a team power stun. I'm getting the spike ball right now. Yes, 100% I'm getting the spike ball. Because even if he sends us a rush now, I think we should be A-OK. -okay. I'm playing this ultra safe, boys. He is a power reliant player, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, strictly relying off the powers to go for the win. I'm not. Heck no, boys. Okay, so now that we know his power combination, I think we should be absolutely chilling, okay? Let's collect that balloon trap. And uh, we could eventually probably send him a rush on round 16 here, okay? And we're also out farming too, so let's get it! Oh my gosh, holy crap, that was scary. Very, very scary. We're definitely going to be going with the uh, facility route, by the way. Just went for this Republic, so I have like no money right here. Uh, but let's start to send some stuff at him, okay? He's not going to be liking this. Hopefully he just ultimately turbocharges this. I'm not sure what's going on because screen lag do BOP. 
Um, but he is going to be leaking, maybe. I can't tell. He's down to 99. We'll take it. 85. Oh my gosh. Okay. So down to 63. All right. We'll take it, boys. We'll freaking take it, man. Um, so kind of greedy within the farms right there a little bit. Does he have any camel lead detection? He sold that darling. I don't know. Wait. I don't know if he does or not. I'm going to send it just in case. I think he does. I'm just, just dumb sometimes. Okay. Do we even send him a Moab here? I think we're not going to, okay? Because I think he's going to be aggressive towards us. So we'll watch out. We do have the Goose Storm if needed. And uh, with this 2-2 and the Spike Ball, we should be fine. And yeah, he's going to be sending us one here, okay? Um, so I'm not too scared. Not too scared. Because that Moab should be popped fully by all the spikes in the back of the map, okay? I know it looks bad, but trust, boys. Just freaking trust. Boom, we popped it. Let's get it, okay? um all right so i'm thinking that i send him a mob now okay because of the ai leads about to come in so yeah i'm gonna be doing that let's send even more leads behind that and uh, we're gonna see what happens okay i feel like he's just gonna like all out me like round 20 or something like that although we can just freaking spike storm the spike storm do bop let's see what happens okay he might just turbocharge this too yep there he goes for the turbocharge okay so he's gonna be able to defend i believe and yeah he was okay well done well done indeed um, I kind of want to go for the facility here. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, okay? Oh, gosh. This is definitely a bold statement. Bold statement indeed. Should we send him a BFB? I'm thinking... Oh, 100%. 100. 1 million. And he's sending me a BFB? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so he is going to struggle a lot. A lot more than us. As long as we can get this spike storm on the map, then we should be fine. And we're collecting money from... Our balloon trap currently, too. He's going to send us a mob on top of that, too. Okay, so I'm going to just sell these very quickly. We're going to go for this right here. Let's spike storm one time. And, oh my gosh, did I actually sell that? I think I did. And that should be able to defend. Holy crap, it was. He pulled out his fourth! He pulled out his fourth! You know what? That's fine. That, that's fine. He pulled out his freaking fourth, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay that's okay okay so i'm gonna go for another balloon trap by the way oh my gosh and he hardly defended he's like turbocharging 10 times over what is going on oh my okay so we got two balloon traps by the way on the map oh my dude like there's no way you go for that again right if you go for your, your facility instantly i'm just gonna send him regen leads within this ai because he's not gonna be liking that dude he just drained himself so hard he had to sell it once again Oh, this guy's so screwed. He's absolutely freaking lutely screwed. It doesn't matter what he does. I don't even care if he sends me a ZOMG. It does not matter. It does not freaking matter. Actually, if he sends me a ZOMG, I'll probably just counter, but yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not messing around with that, okay? I know I could probably defend, but like, I just want to be safe here, boys. I, I really do. So we'll just rush him over top and he won't be liking that. He's going to give us a well done. And that should be an easy GG, okay? Even the mobs over top, he's not going to be able to defend. Although, yeah, I was about to say, he's going to probably pull out the ice. That's okay, though. You have literally no money. So, you're absolutely freaking lootly screwed. That's what you get for pulling out your fourth that gets a spike factory? <laughs> Let's get it, boys, all right? I, I just wanted to play that smart right there. Like I said, I think I could have defended against that ZOMG, but you have the spike storm so many times, so you end up losing out on a crap ton of money, and sometimes it gets just a little bit too close for comfort. Did not want to risk it right there for the biscuit. We got the win, played it safe, so yeah. GG's, that's going to be wrapping up today's video. I hope you guys did in fact enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on it if you did, and also I want to make sure to click that subscribe button. All right, so the last question. I asked you guys in the last video was, what tower should our last opponent have used instead of the tax shooter right in the last video that it is, all right? Um, he went Dart Lane tax shooter farm on the map Mountain Pass, um, and there definitely is a better option. There's a right answer here, right? And the answer is the boomerang, all right? So this guy won, congratulations, man. Yes, the boomerang is much, much better, especially because we are in old school mode. Like I said, when you have the boomer within the strategy, it's essentially a boost. So it's pretty good, especially on that map too. So yeah, once again, congrats on the shout out, brother. All right, so the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, when will I be live streaming, all right? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope, all right? So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Once again, it's been your Bull Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.